hear your favorite NFL legends sharing their stories and insights every week right here on Thursday Night Tailgate with Chris Mascaro and Bob Lazari. Take it away, guys. Story's locked. There's no way out. And now back with us here on Thursday night, tailgating in his regular weekly time slot, his former Patriots Pro Bowl running back, Tony Collins. Hey, Tony, good evening. How Hi, are you, Tony. my friend? How you doing, Chris and Bob? I'm doing fantastic, man. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. So, <laughs> congratulations on a uh, another Super Bowl victory and for officially winning the pro- pro- prognostication championship this season. You sort of you got the daily double. You won it all, Tony. Good for you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, I want that trophy sent to me. You got you, you got that address, uh? <laughs> I got that address. Don't you worry. It, it'll be on its way to you soon, my friend. <laughs> but just for all of our listeners to recap, right? Tony finished the season at forty-eight, twenty-six, and one. One game better than Bob because uh, Bob was more in, more interested in being right about the Super Bowl than giving himself a chance to to win it all, so he went with what he thought uh, was going to be the, the winner of the game, and he was right. Everyone took the Patriots, so Bob won game back, and I was way off in Never Never Land, six games behind Tony. So, <laughs> Tony, congratulations again, my friend, and um, give us your thoughts. What do you, what what were your thoughts on the game? It, uh, it's Man, a lot you, of mixed reviews. I, I, thought it was a, I thought it was a great game, a, a, a great defensive game. It was, it was a kind of you didn't expect. Um, the Rams defense played, oh man, they played great. They, they really did. They, 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 they stopped us when they need, when we need to be stopped in the first half. And, uh, but the Patriots defense, you know, I, I, I don't know. I, I think the Rams were averaging maybe like 30 some points a game or something like that. And we, we held them to three points. And you just gotta, you just gotta tip your hat to Belichick. Belichick, uh, you know, I, I, I didn't, I, I never thought we would we would shut them down like that, you know. For them to only score three points, I know a lot of people thought it was a boring football game, and um, but I, I thought it was a great game because because you know you you don't you don't see a game like that too often when you get to the Super Bowl. Defense is playing that way. Two great offenses going at it, and, and you know they you know we there's, there was only one one touchdown scored, and um, man, I, I just you just like I said, you got to tip your hat to Belichick. And, on what he did defensively, um, and Elderman was just on point like, like always. Ron comes up with the big catch when we, when we needed it, and, and you know it, it, it was it was a fantastic game for the Patriots to, to to go ahead and win that win that six that that six Lombardi Trophy and bring it bringing it back to Boston. Really really proud of the guys, and uh, I, you know what I, I'm 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 really excited to see what's going to happen next year. Uh, with, with what's going to happen with as far as, you know, you know, new guys coming in, uh, you know, I don't know, Josh Gordon, from what I'm understanding, he, he, he's going to probably come back, come back this year. And, uh, we know Brady's coming back. The, the big question mark right now is Gronk. And so, uh, we're just going to have to see, but I, I'm telling you, man, if, if Gronk comes back and, you know, Josh Gordon is, 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 is can get his stuff together. Uh, and that defense keep playing like they're playing, and we got Dante Scarnecchia with that offensive line. Uh, man, I, I, I can't see nobody stopping us from going again. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the thing, right? Is is everybody hates the Patriots now outside of New England, and um, <laughs> to think that what's what's ever going to be different about someone being able to figure out a way to solve the Patriot puzzle, right, Bob? I mean, you know, when you think about, um, to Tony's point, the defense came up big here. We None of us, I don't think anybody on the planet, saw the defense playing the way it did. Boy, it's, it's just Steve Barkowski's point a moment ago. It seemed like every time Jared Goff dropped back, he, could, he couldn't set his feet. He couldn't get anything going, and they were always on top of him. So that really took, you know, the uh, the passing game away, and, and uh, they only gave the ball to Gurley ten times. So to Tony's point, Bob, what are your thoughts? What has to happen? Is it possible for someone to to from the AFC to get to the Super Bowl that's not named the New England Patriots? It's going to be tough, Chris, because this uh, you have a, a a new crop of guys, uh, and, and I want to get Tony's uh, 
input into Sony, Michelle. I mean, this guy to me is like an X factor. You know, they, it seemed like up to this point, they've had guys that were decent running backs the last few years, but this guy is the real deal. It's, it's almost like if he's anywhere near a hundred yards, they don't lose. He had 94 in the Super Bowl. Uh, just an incredibly gifted guy. You wonder how he could have been lasted. 31st in that round, uh, the first round, uh, to not get picked. And of course, the Patriots do what they do. They make good decisions and getting him in there. And uh, I got to get Tony's, uh, input on this guy. Tony, I mean, he's going to turn 24 next week. <laughs> Stayed pretty healthy during the year. Uh, seems to have the perfect body. Tony, he's, he's kind of low to the ground, but he's, he's shifty and fast. And, uh, what a, what a surprise. And this guy can be good for a long time. You know, I was actually upset with the pick when when they picked Tony because Lamar Jackson was still on the board because I'm I'm right. thinking you know we you need to get a quarterback man we got to get a quarterback you know because how how long Brady's gonna last but man Tony man is is he's a he's a he's the type of back that can catch the ball out of the backfield and 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 running I mean he runs so well between the tackles and and and, and he gets the job done I mean he can be one of those one of those guys that can play for a long time in the league. Uh, you know, you know, I, I thought, I thought the things that he did with Burkett and him together just during the, during the playoffs were just excellent. Uh, the kid is, kid, he, the kid has all the tools, man. You know, uh, that type of, you know, you, when, as a running back, one thing that you want is, man, I just hope this kid stays healthy. You know, no, no big injuries. So. Because if he does stay healthy, he can be a Patriot for a long time. And I'm, I'm sure Belichick sees that and everybody else sees that as well. But man, I, 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 I think as a, as a rookie running back, I mean, we had a lot of great rookie, rookie running backs come, come in the league this past season, but he's definitely there up, up in the top three. No, no question about it. And guys, here's the thing that I think is scary about the Patriots, right? And, and tell you how good not only Belichick, but just sort of their whole system and organization are, right? I mean, to, to your point a moment ago, Tony, you sort of alluded to, right? Maybe, maybe Josh Gordon comes back. I would find it hard to imagine that how, I mean, how many times can he get suspended and, and come back into the league? I mean, if, if that's the case, then the whole thing's a joke. But you, there's no Antonio Brown or Odell Beckham on the team as a wide receiver. Just a, a slow, small guy named Julian Edelman. Nothing special, but it's the job done. You got Gronk who can out wrestle anybody for a football, right? And, you know, there's nobody out there that's stretching the field for the Patriots, but the system makes it, you know, so good for these guys, right? You, you throw in a, a Sony Michelle like you guys are talking about, right? And it's just, you, you got a really good offensive line because nobody touches Brady. And if they do, they get a flag anyway. So they're protecting him. <laughs> the defensive line, the defensive line. Obviously very good because they were in the Rams' backfield the whole game. So, I mean, it's just the system works. There's no, like, I mean, obviously Brady is the greatest of all time. So you, you hang a lot on the fact that they have Tom Brady. And maybe it's different if they don't. But we all rem remember several years ago, Tone, we have Matt Castle still led him to an 11-5 and five season, you know, in the year that he was there when Brady went down with a knee injury. So everything just seems to work no matter who the players are. And the players they have aren't remarkable. I mean, you could argue Gronk is remarkable, but it's not, it, it just, it just seems like to me, this is coaching and a system that works and they get the players, whoever they are, plug them in and it just keeps on going. We'll see what happens when Brady finally retires. But right now it's just, you look around the team and you know, Julian Edelman shouldn't scare anybody, but no one can cover him. Right. And you know, you throw the ball up to Gronk and he's going to out wrestle you for the ball. That's what is so amazing about this team. You're, you're, you're absolutely right. It's, it's the system and, and the coaching because, you know, you, you look at the Patriots defense. I think maybe there's one guy who made the Pro Bowl. And I think that's the, uh, the corner Gilmore. I'm, 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 I'm fine. I might, I might right. be mistaken, but their defensive line, there's no guy on the, no guys on the Pro Bowl. There's no guys, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't even think Hightower made the Pro Bowl this year, but nope. they, they, they do their job, man. They do, you know, they, they, they work the system. And, and like you said, man, they're all, they're all over golf. I mean, they're all over him. And, 
and you and then you look at the offensive line. I don't think our offensive line had nobody even close to going to the Pro Bowl this year. But we 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 only get one sack throughout the playoffs and the Super Bowl one, and and going against uh, the uh, the Rams uh, front, which I think is probably the, one of the best defensive fronts in the league, and you only give up one sack the whole game, and and and, and that sack, if you if you look at that play, that was a cover sack. I mean Brady had the ball maybe for like five or six seconds. Uh, and so you, you gotta give credit to the system. You gotta give credit to the coaches. You know, I, 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 I mentioned, uh, Dante, Coach Scar. Uh, he actually coached me back when I was playing in, in, in 80, back in the 80s. Uh, Coach Scar was, he was a special teams coach. And now he's an offensive line coach. So it's just a system. You know, we got, we got, we got a new defensive coordinator this year. Which I, I can't I can't remember what his name is, but the guy's good. I, 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 he's coached before in the league, and uh, he's going to come in and do his thing, and and Belichick's going to put everybody in place again. And it, and if we stay healthy like we stayed healthy this past season, at the end of the season, if we're healthy, it's going to be trouble again. Uh, we we, <laughs> we might go ahead and break that we might go ahead and break that Pittsburgh no. record in you. No, <laughs> no, we cannot have that. Tony wants I hate that you got six. Yeah, I can't have it. Seven, Absolutely man. cannot have it. So, oh, man. Tony, one more He's before ready. we let you go. You said at the beginning of the season that if the Patriots won the Super Bowl, you thought Tom Brady would retire, that there was nothing left at that point for him to prove, and it certainly he said he's, he's coming back, so he'll be there. Do you think that's a good decision or a bad decision? Should you play until the wheels fall off, or should you go out on a high note? You know what? If you know, if it, if he was getting sagged a lot this past season, I, I would have said, Tom, you know, this is it, man. You know, go out on the high note. But man, I I I really I really could see him playing another couple more years. I really can, man. I, you know, I, watching Tom during the game, you know, made a couple bad throws. He, he read the defense wrong uh, one time on the the first interception that he had. But uh, just how he gets rid of the ball so quick and. Uh, knowing where the guy's supposed to be, um, I, I have to go back and now and say, uh, definitely, I, I say, I, I definitely two more years. I, I really, I really think he can play two more years if if everything goes as planned as far as you know the offensive line staying in, impact uh, and doing everything that they're supposed to do, which I, I can't see anything changing with that. So, um, yeah, man, I, I, I see him playing a, at least another two years. And, but the one thing I don't want to happen is, you know, for him to stay just a little bit too long. But you know, like I said, when you got a good offensive line that like that, then you can you can sit back in that pocket and get rid of that ball. Tom Brady is going to be something special. Tony, before we let you go, remind our listeners again about the great thing you do helping kids go to college. TonyCollinsFoundation.org. Uh, last year was our 10 year anniversary, and going on our 11th. Uh, anniversary this upcoming year, man. Just just helping as many kids as possible up in the upstate New York New York area where I grew up at. And just want to always give back. One of the things we want want to teach kids as well is, is give back to where you came from and uh, be nice, be kind, and maybe this hope this world of, of change and and people will start liking the Patriots. <laughs> No, <laughs> uh, I don't, don't count on that one, my friend. <laughs> Tony, you're great. You're doing great things. Don't don't reach too far. I think that was a uh, a, a reach too far for you. But uh, thank you for all you do for kids going to school, and uh, thanks for being a part of the show. We'll catch up with you again next week. All right, guys. You guys have a great one. Take care. See you, Tony. That is uh, former Patriots Pro Bowl running back Tony Collins. We've got our next guest, Leroy Urban, hanging on the line. Going to get to Leroy on the other side of this quick station break.